Uh, yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy, Comfy Neat. Um, and today, um, I'll, I just finished, I'm halfway through a workout, but I decided I'd shoot another video because my parents are still asleep. But um, today I'd like to talk about what exactly is wrong with my social skills. Because I feel like to some people, I seem sort of normal-ish and I am definitely more on the normie side of the normie degen spectrum but i do have a lot of things that i do wrong as far as social skills go and i've always been talking about how bad my social skills are but i've never really gotten into detail about that so that's what i'm going to talk about today and um i think the biggest issue with my social skills is that um i'm really bad at communicating things especially non-verbally and what i mean by that is that all of the things that I guess are part of normal social interactions that play a much bigger part than people realize, even more so than what's actually being said. Like for example, um, your eye contact, um, I guess how long you wait before you speak, your cadence, your rhythm, um, your facial expressions. Like for if you guys haven't noticed, I have a really flat, like face no not flat face like a flat affect meaning that my facial expressions are generally unchanged they tend to be more or less like this at most when i try and smile i smile like like to me this feels like i'm smiling really hard but when i've looked in the mirror making this smile i'm like barely smiling i don't know if um I don't know if that's what I'm doing now, but that's definitely one example of that. I mean, I've tried to focus more on whether I could feel these muscles here tensing up because if they are, <laughs> I'm fucking retarded. Um, that means that I'm actually smiling normally. But yeah, there's like facial expressions, there's um, posture even, um, whether I'm facing the person or not. Although I guess these are things that should happen naturally but I feel like I tend to always give off this sort of, um, I guess, vibe that I'm not interested in the person or I don't like them or that I'm really insecure and afraid. And um, that's definitely a huge problem. Um, another issue with my social skills um, would probably have to be, um, you know, I've definitely gotten better at this, but there are times when sometimes I'll just say the wrong thing at the wrong moment or i'll say something really um really out of the blue that no one seems to i guess relate to or recognize or sometimes i'll say something this is especially true way back in the day where i'd say something that was sort of like completely unrelated to the topic and then it kind of just leaves people speechless I, like i definitely feel that I have that ability to just say something so off the wall that it literally leaves the entire like group speechless for like a few minutes while everybody is anxious anxiously trying to find a way to reboot the conversation that I literally just fucking killed off <laughs> and it's pretty it's kind of funny when I think about it but it definitely doesn't feel good in the moment like it definitely makes me feel like a piece of shit or like um like that I should step up my social skills and um you know be more cognizant of what is going on and yeah there's definitely that aspect of it is like i say things that are just weird sometimes quote unquote weird and um another thing is that um i'm really i don't know i feel like i'm sometimes good at reading people but sometimes i have really no clue what people are feeling i don't know if this is normal or not but sometimes like i just feel that you know maybe i've pissed somebody off and that's the other thing like sometimes i just have the tendency to uh unintentionally like piss people off when i say stuff without even with not even intentionally but sometimes i say stuff that definitely comes across as like overly like passive aggressive even like for example my cousin was is like um i guess his whole like he's always been to like 
these like diet things, I guess. And he was like vegan at one point. And, um, you know, um, he was at one time we were at like the dinner table and, um, he, um, I guess brought up the fact that he doesn't eat corn anymore because, um, I guess, um, uh, he just like people were offering him like corn on the cob and then he was like, oh no, I don't eat corn anymore. And then, you know, this guy has had like stomach problems and like a whole bunch of things that he's tried to resolve with diet. So obviously he's like pretty passionate about this. And, um, like my dumb ass went ahead and said like, oh, so is the reason you not eat corn like some sort of diet thing? Like, and I don't know, maybe it's like the tone of voice or like maybe it's like what I like diet thing just sounds so like nonchalant and like as if like I'm kind of like questioning his sanity of like whether the diet shit is all in his head or not. But he definitely did not seem happy and definitely did not speak to me for the rest of the night. Like I really have a bad sort of gauge of whether people are really passionate about shit or not or care about stuff and i really do not want to offend people maybe it's because i'm a people pleaser or you know maybe it's because i'm a genuinely nice guy <laughs> okay i don't know like i'm a fucking people pleaser but um yeah i often say things that piss people off and i really don't intend to and it's ironic because when the time actually comes for me to uh, stand up for myself and like talk shit, I often like shy away. But on the other hand, when I'm actually not trying to be a dick to people, I end up saying like stupid shit and um, I piss people off. And um, this is obviously another bad aspect of my social skills because it makes people hate me. And um, yeah, um, obviously I've mentioned this before, but my 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 speech would count as a social skill and I'm, I mean, I'm not the most uh, fluent speaker and I often speak in very like choppy like patterns of, um, I don't know, speech. And I also feel like a lot of times I'm really unaware of how I'm supposed to, to like be like in terms of like social context. Like I feel like just the way I talk is really not becoming of my age. And, you know, obviously I, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. But at the same time, I do want certain things out of society. And I do want, you know, I do want to participate in the whole like, game, you know, because I want certain things out of it. So I guess it would be important for me to be more aware of that. Even things like, and that kind of bleeds into things like my sense of fashion, my preferences, my hobbies, even, um, Although, you know, maybe I'm overthinking things. Maybe I'm, I like to think that I'm still young, but sometimes I feel like I fucking talk like a Zoomer when I should be talking like someone who's in the workforce. But, and it definitely comes across, I feel sometimes. Um, what else, what else, what else? Aside from my communication issues and what I say and what I'm, I guess what I read in people, like my ability to read people. Um, I really don't know. Um, yeah, I guess sometimes I'll often draw like conclusions about certain situations that are completely off the wall as well. That kind of plays into like my ability to say things that just weird people out because I feel like my mind will often jump like maybe two steps too far or I'll, you know, in my mind, it makes sense. But in other people's minds, they're just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I don't know, like maybe I'd like to think that it's because, you know, other people are just stupid and I'm too big brain. You see, even that's like a, like a fucking Zoomer thing or like a Twitch thing. I don't know. And I'm like too, um, I'm too intelligent for these uh, plebeians to understand and on the other hand the more likely reason is that i just you know my mind's you know t too too active maybe i'm jumping all over the place and um yeah i guess down to the more, the, the more specific things like i have really bad eye contact with people 
and it definitely causes a lot of mis misunderstandings like I, i'm not sure if i mentioned this before but at one point i was asked by a friend in high school why i never make eye contact with anybody when i'm talking to them so obviously like other people notice this um and i'm just um it seems like i'm just really slow on the uptake as far as social skills go and you know i'm only learning things or realizing things now that i feel like i should have discovered in my teens as far as how to interact with people and you know i don't know how to i'm also really inflexible with the way i talk people um it's like i'll often say like the same things over and over again and um like for example like true like i don't know it's, maybe this is normally me it's like my go-to like catchphrase or whatever but um that's just another thing that i can think of and as far as like the consequences of this yeah like yeah it either makes people not like me it makes them misunderstand my intentions oh and another thing is that i really don't know how to like deepen bonds between myself and other people like i feel like um oftentimes sometimes like i'll start out okay but then i just don't know how to take that next that next step and become really good friends with other people so i end up either like for example someone might like try and like reach out to me and deepen that bond and i, I, I can't like get into specifics about how they do this but it's like you kind of just know when when they're doing it and then for me like maybe it's partly because like i'm just insecure and feel like i'm unworthy of other people's um i don't know affection not affection but like positive like i don't know perceptions and the other part is that i just sometimes i'm just really oblivious to it and i only realize that i kind of like not shun but like um dismiss the person's like attempt at deepening our connection like much much later and i also feel like i um lost my train of thought there um yeah yeah i just miss a lot of these sort of like opportunities in general and it definitely is one thing that keeps me from you know having quote unquote close friends and um yeah um i had one more thing to say but i can't really think of it right now um this is me trying to be as expressive as possible obviously i have a lot to work on and i'm going to be doing that soon um in my other series so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed uh watching this video um i might end up starting to do cuts in these sorts of videos just because i feel like it might be more entertaining that way and make my speaking more smooth but yeah um i don't really know um i hope you guys enjoyed this video once again uh hit the like and subscribe button if you uh relate to this in any way or enjoy it and this is comfy and eat signing out.